Welcome back on uh, my channel. This is a follow-up video to uh, the first one. After I've removed the CRT module, I uh, decided to uh, take it a step uh, forward and uh, I have uh, removed all the uh, front panel. And I'm gonna show you now, uh, at least on my unit, how it is. So meanwhile, I have received um, all the capacitors. Um, so this is the front, this is the back. Here on the back, there is a, a PCB, which I have removed already. And obviously all the, um, all the buttons, you know, I have uh, cleaned the button rubber thing. And, um, and this is the PCB. So I have removed the PCB. Uh, these are all the buttons there. So the, the, the buttons are just pushing against the, the buttons themselves. And there's no carbon contact or such, which uh, tends to fail over time. Okay, so this is the, the back, obviously. Here we got the N connector, the TNC connector, and so on. CRT, soft buttons, keys. Okay, so the, the mask was sitting here. I decided to take this step. Uh, mainly because of two reasons. One was that the plastic, acrylic, or whatever it is, polycarbonate, uh, it was dirty, um, scratched, but also there were some um, smudges which I couldn't remove uh, on uh, either side, mm, mm, front. Uh, nor the back. So I actually realized that uh, there were two layers of uh, the plastic here. So I had to go in between the layers, remove, take the two layers apart in order to clean inside. And in fact, this is what I've done. So very carefully, the first step, uh, I heat up uh, in the oven, the old front panel assembly to 50, 60 degrees, something like that. Uh, just to uh, make the glue a little softer. And then I uh, started to, uh, with also with a jet of uh, hot air, the help of uh, other hands, I've removed everything with a, with a cutter. So this is, what you see here is the first plastic layer that was in contact with the metal frame okay so like this it's still very sticky um i'm gonna i think i'm gonna throw this away so as you can see it's all pre-cut with all the holes here somebody was inside this front panel somebody changed the front panel uh, maybe because of the uh, bubble problem with the CRT, with the window of the CRT. They wanted to solve the bubble problem. Uh, in fact, I didn't have the bubble problem on my unit. Um, but the, the work they've done is absolutely garbage. So after I removed very, very gently, very um, slowly as well, I've removed everything all together, okay? And then I have removed this plastic, this plastic thing from the rest, okay? What's the consequence of removing this? Uh, this could be uh, preventative for uh, electric contact with the metal frame of something, but actually uh, this is not the case. Uh, I uh, measured the, uh, the thickness, as you can see. Okay, let's start, let's check we are on zero. As you can see, we are on zero, apart from the shadow. As you can see, we're talking about 0 0.3, 0 0.3 of a millimeter. So the buttons, they will stick out just a tiny, tiny bit. So uh, nobody's gonna, <laughs> gonna see it. Now, I'm left with 
two layers here. One is this uh, grayish layer, uh, and the other layer is the uh, front front uh, layer with all the with the colors and and the you know all the uh, serigraphy. So I'm gonna put the front panel on a side because I still have to buy uh, product for cleaning the scratches of the plastic. I want to give it a good clean. Uh, you can see here all the scratches uh, on the top left corner. But uh, for now, um, I will uh, start uh, swapping the uh, electrolytic capacitors on the CRT uh, module on the board. Okay, so let's uh, let's let's do this. Okay, so back on the CRT module. I gave it a good clean to uh, the front uh, glass. Take out the board. Remove this little board here from the connector of the tube. And I'm going to put it like this. And then... Uh, Let's see. Um, so let me see where I start. Uh, so let's start from uh, from these one to I have bought all the capacitors because there are not too many capacitors and um, just as a preventative measure. Let me start here. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we move on the other side. Okay, so I'm checking now a few capacitors of uh, those that I've uh, just removed from the board and against uh, the new ones that I have. This, uh, this capacitor here, C22, I believe, this one here, ZL uh, uh, Juliet, Zulima Juliet series, and I pick it up uh, with a higher uh, voltage rating. <clears throat> the original one was uh, 4763 uh, and I got a 47100 you can see I'm checking this that capacitor uh, in auto mode now and uh, I see 400 hertz to start with I see 41.33 microfarad is the uh, Capacitance value with a dissipation factor of 0 0.115, which corresponds to corresponds to oops to minus 83.4 degrees, and uh, maybe you have spotted already the ESR value is 4.4 here. I got a small table here with uh, some guidance on uh, ESR values. Um, for normal quality and for for high quality capacitors. So so normal quality is obviously worse. Um, <clears throat> so if we go forty seven to sixty three, we see a maximum of two ohms, and uh, here we have four point two. So let's now uh, try uh, the uh, Rubicon, the new one, and let's start with uh, hundred hertz or let's say 120 hertz uh, let's start with um, past tense and uh, theta angle 
I'm gonna change this right now. Okay, so capacitance value is, is pretty similar, 41.4, but theta is uh, much better, 88.6. Obviously, ideal is 90 degrees. And what about ESR? 0.07. So obviously, that is a high quality capacitor. And if we take a look here, uh, 47 micro, 63. 0 0.6, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7. Uh, actually, uh, my capacitor is uh, 100 volts. So I went to step up for the voltage rating because of uh, dimensions were compatible. So better ESR uh, for the same capacitance, higher voltage, better ESR. I choose 100 volts. Um, so yeah, we go at 1 kilohertz, 0.24. 10 kilohertz, 0.17, so <clears throat> very, very good. I'm going to put it on the board now. I've just finished uh, soldering in all the new <clears throat> electrolytic caps. I uh, checked the board all again, and I'll put the board uh, back in place. Now that I have installed the board and the CRT, take the external shielding and uh, we we'll put the monitor back in there. Actually, before that, we install the cable. I have cleaned all the contacts here. There you go. Okay, now I put uh, the screws back in. It's four in total, two on each side. the uh, entire module back into the instrument uh, to do that uh, I remind you to uh, pay attention to the cables and the two connectors uh, on the left side this is uh, the one bringing the uh, uh, CRT uh, signals and uh, power from the power supply distribution uh, from the back basically and it's tough to uh, connect. And the small one is going to be when you, we put the front panel back in. Here you can see uh, what I have uh, realized after the first power up. Uh, fortunately, unfortunately, I forgot uh, to install one capacitor in the vertical circuitry, and that was the result. After I put it back in, uh, uh, the last capacitor, um, this is the result. The uh, CRT is uh, back working great. Image is uh, very crisp and clear. Very nice also, very bright. Adjustable, obviously. Uh, proportioned, uh, it's not distorted anymore like it was before towards the edge edges. So. Uh, now it uh, is a matter of uh, readjusting, uh, which I'm doing now, readjusting the uh, image. I'm gonna position better now the camera for you to see 
But basically, it's just uh, a matter of uh, using all the adjustments on the top for centering the uh, image depicted on the CRT. So vertical position, vertical linearity, uh, horizontal position, and so on and so forth. But I'm super happy, super happy with the results. Obviously, uh, that was my main concern. Now, um, unfortunately, well, the first startup, uh, the CRT uh, wouldn't come on. So I had to, uh, after a bit of investigation, I uh, realized that the 12 volt line was pulled down to five volts. The CRT wouldn't come on. So I uh, started the CRT from uh, an external power supply from the laboratory. It's drawing about one amp of current at 12 volts. It's working great. Just to verify the CRT that everything was, uh, was okay. And it is, as you see. Um, but now I have to uh, face uh, the new, uh, this new issue and uh, hopefully fix it i had that means i have to take uh, the psu unit uh, all apart again and this is gonna be uh, done in a uh, next video where i uh, will show the uh, removal process of uh, the psu unit, which i know is of interest to uh, um, many other users i guess and these are the last images of the crt working great as you can see I love it, uh, super excited about it. Thanks for watching 7 Free.